Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. You absolutely have to see through all of this confusion and the illusions you may need to just distance yourself from some people hand out those spiritual restraining orders don't allow people to come around you near you in your space in your place at this time if you feel like it's causing some type of uneasiness if it's causing you to feel like you have to look over your shoulder things that are, are sent to you by god they don't come with a lot of confusion now do be um mindful that there are some things around you that are for sure good for you but because of the spells and the illusions the the casting and the conjuring that's being done by your enemies they will make it look like things that are surely for you are not for you so again you have to be very discerning um you're gonna have to really look over your your life and your experiences at this time as a queen of swords to see that there are certain situations that just no longer serve you and you're going to have to make the difficult choice right now to go ahead and slay those demons you're going to have to take that sword out to get rid of things yeah for the sake of your own awakening so this is the hangman the awakening card and the page of cups coming out so again it's like i feel a lot of people they want you to be in this energy of being very childlike so really people they want you to be very naive and gullible when it comes to the things that they're trying to do to you they don't really want you to experience this actual awakening at this time but i mean they can't stop it or block it and at this point you have to be responsible for yourself and your energy okay yeah here's the dreamer so that's the fool card and here is the two of wands so yes you cannot be afraid to take a leap of faith you cannot be afraid right now to say no to a lot of different people <clears throat> There's a new start here. You're going to have to trust yourself. And yes, you are going to have to um, terminate some people. Some of you could be business owners or managers. Um, it's time for you to start firing people. Okay. Even if not in your friendships, your relationships, it's really time to take inventory and clean out house. Because it's like right now, I feel a lot of people, you want to embrace these new emotional experiences which is the page of cups this could be just simply new friendships these are soulmates friends family members you could be wanting to connect with people in your family or whatever the case may be but you're needed to take some time out right now to reflect and gain more insight and clarity and really put your wisdom and discernment to work right now to figure out should you deal with certain people it's time for you to really start manifesting and setting intentions about what type of life do you want and then you're going to have to figure out if the people that you're inviting into your life or keeping into your life or the business opportunities or deals or whatever is it conducive to the life that you really want for yourself i mean we're in pisces season and after pisces season will be aries season so aries is going to of course be first that is the alpha right now um Pisces is like the omega you're at the end of a cycle right now that's why I always say for me the new year it really starts of course like in airy season right after Pisces but Pisces season right now is bringing in a lot of awareness you're reflecting over your entire year not the calendar year but the actual like lunar year you're reflecting now here in Pisces season over everything that has happened in the last few years for many people and there's a brand new beginning coming so by the time airy season comes you need to be out of your feelings you need to have all of your awareness your insight take this time now to really reflect and embrace who you are in this new journey that you're going on so this is kind of like a nesting period for a lot of people where you may be feeling like right now you want to make changes with your home with your appearance you may want to buy something new but it's just really cleaning house and figuring out what you want and getting rid of all of the confusion you're confused because you have these major major choices um, that are being presented to you and you have to make decisions these are decisions especially in the year 2023 the year of the number seven the chariot where these are the decisions that are, is going to affect you for perhaps the, ne the next decade for sure so getting rid of friends family members lovers cleaning out your house your car 
you need to do all those things so that you're able to clear out your 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 mind the reading yesterday i was saying god is clearing up your energetic signature a lot of you have been victims of actual identity fraud in the physical but also in the spiritual where people have been using your identity your um spiritual your your actual energetic signature they've been signing checks with your energetic signature and it's like now you're being saved just in time where you you won't be responsible for paying those debts back but only if you go now and you actually fight the good fight if you're gonna have to actually say wait wait a minute that wasn't me i wasn't actually i was there but i wasn't a part of it a lot of you you're being charged for things you're you're guilty by association and it's time to open up your big pretty eyes and see that like no you have people around you that are are not good or they're not a part of good things and you being who you are god expects more of you page of swords so the page of swords is here with the seven of cups so a lot of people are watching you they're studying you okay and they're trying to figure out how to gain the insight that they need to break like have some kind of breakthrough with really breaking you down okay page of swords you, you can have a lot of people watching you online but yeah you're being watched some of you are being ha um, hacked a lot of identity theft here is happening but for a lot of you it's just being exposed you're at the tail end of a lot here in pisces season so people already know um that the time is up because when people do you know they set their intentions usually it's for a year you know a lot of people plan their year out they make their new year's resolutions and so we're at the end of the year. So if, if someone's intention was to stop and block you in the last year, which we're still, to me, you know, you would think like, okay, 2022. But again, here in Pisces season being the last actual month of the, like the, the lunar year, people are there rushing now to get things done when it comes to ruining you or destroying you because there was the intention that they set in 2022 or this was the intention that they set seven to ten years ago there are certain entities and principalities friends family members lovers their whole mission for this entire karmic cycle that you've been in it was to destroy you okay well now here we are at the end of this cycle not just the year but i mean an entire karmic cycle where they have to let you go this is 2023 so most likely the things that you're doing now is what's going to affect you until you get in well into like 2030 the 2030s okay there's like a, a new seven year karmic cycle that's beginning for you so the people who were on the karmic wheel with you before who were sent to destroy you they know they have to get off now so now this is why you, there's so much magic and manipulation and the hoodoo and the voodoo and the shape shifting they're becoming as tricky as possible yeah here's a devil card the ego and it's falling right underneath the queen of swords so this is saying you have to come out of your own ego the ego here is saying that for some of you you are even you cannot right now fall for temptation you cannot be in your feelings you cannot lean on the understanding that has gotten you to this place or this space also, this is you letting go of the illusion that you're actually trapped and that the devil has so much control over you because all these agents of the devil is doing is playing on your mind, trying to convince you that you're trapped, that you don't know where you're going. You don't know what you want is trying to use everything against you. I've been saying a lot. A lot of people are doing a lot of mind control, hypnosis, mind mapping. There's people out here, you guys, who have... Um, very very strong spiritual and psychic gifts they can read your thoughts they can get into your dreams they know how to manipulate situations to get you to go into partnerships and agreements with them even during your your sleep state and your dreams and you're wondering well, where is all of this darkness where is all this chaos and conflict coming from it is because they are in your mind where the mind goes the, the body follows so you have to be very very mindful of your energy also to me this devil card because it's been coming up so much family ancestral like the ancestral trauma you know a lot of families generation to generation there's people who have taught you you need to be a certain type of person you need a certain type of job and you of course you need to 
attract a certain type of lover. You need to marry a certain type of lover. You need to make a certain amount of money. Well, all of those things have kept you chained to, again, like a, a pact, a, an agreement or a promise with that family or the, the trauma in that, that ancestry that is not allowing you to actually move forward and have the happiness that you want. So you have to bring out that sword now when it comes to dealing with this devilish energy. The people who are addicted to you and you need to be mindful of your own addictions, whether it's food, drink, you know, sex, whatever it is, just bad habits, procrastination. Rid yourself of all of those things at this time. The five of wands is here under the page of cups and the four of cups fell out as well. So this is this is a lot of conflict and drama coming up because now you are choosing to be open hearted and because you recognize your sensitivity within your energy, you're you're rejecting offers. You you don't see people want you to see their offers as magical opportunities and you see it as a bunch of crap. You don't want it. So people are, of course, they're 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 getting very angry with you because you're walking away from the drama. You don't want to be involved in certain situations and and people are upset because they were very eager to get you to go into a new contract where they could keep feeding off of you the reading that i just did i was speaking about how there are demons who will protect you because they need your energy in order for them to survive there are people in your life who have made deals with the devil they've made deals with different entities and they use your energy to keep these entities working they, they send these entities out to do all of this work, but they're using your energy. For a lot of you, you are the gateway. You are the glue. And that's how you're being tied into the, 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 this, this covenant that connects you to darkness. Because your energy is being shared with someone that's using your energy for something that is not in alignment with, some, with something that you would agree with ever. Or even if you did once want to be a part of certain things, you've grown, you've gone through an awakening now and you don't want to be a part of it. Therefore, you have to remove the cords. You have to separate your energy. Your energy has to be shut completely down to certain people. So don't be afraid to take time out right now to rest and to rejuvenate, but to really heal. Yeah, the Empress is here. Wow. So divine feminine, you're waking up. Wow, the empress and the star. And here's the freaking four of wands. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so there's an awakening here. You coming into this awareness about people, places, situations. And here's the four of swords and the three of swords. So this deep, deep healing is bringing you a lot of things to celebrate. It's bringing you peace, prosperity, abundance. It's, it's bringing like overall happiness in your, just in your life. This isn't just love. This is just all things at this point. Like you finally are getting to a point where you are going to be actually just happy. And this I feel is you standing up or being called into a time in your life where you have to really, really stand up for what you believe in. Because I see the nine of wands is here. So the nine of wands is here, the king of wands, the nine of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, the ace of cups. This is absolutely beautiful. And here's the queen of wands and the two of pentacles, the six of swords, the chariot. So I'm just going to take those cards out and read this, read this. A lot of divine feminists, and this is for sure like a continuation of the last reading that I just uploaded like less than an hour ago. About the 222 portal, divine feminine, the divine feminine collective, okay, doesn't matter if you're male or female, those chosen ones who are ready to receive their birthright, their infinite abundance in love, career, partnership, friendship, family, and everything, in order to receive, you know, it's just like now if my fists are balled up and I'm holding on to anger, bitterness, sadness, the past or whatever, then God can't really open, can't give me anything new until I open my, my hand, right? It's very simple. You have to make space. So by you healing something, and some of you are healing family issues with the Empress, the Star, and the Four of Wands here, 
this is this has a lot to do with healing family issues especially with healing um even like the womb okay for, especially for women healing the womb and coming into this awakening and this awareness about the fact that maybe the women in your family what they have taught you it wasn't that it was bad but it's just not in alignment with what you want or you healing from having really bad relationships in the past or you know just just whatever your issue or obstacle or challenge has been you're healing from that and as a result of it it's like you may be going on a, a more sacred spiritual journey at this point where you're you may be focusing now on i don't know like your your health your wellness you maybe want to do yoga or breath work or maybe you're getting into chakra cleansing clearing or you're just getting closer to god whatever it is you're removing the negative energy and you're replacing it with things that are so much more positive and it's not based on anything that's just on the surface so this means that now with 222 portal here some of you you have different masculines especially who are in your energy because as i said they want to go into this new cycle with you now i'm not saying that a person from your past is always bad and that oh it always has to be a new person a person from the past can come in new energy and have good intentions for you a new person can come in and have good intentions for you. You have to discern if you need to go deal with people from your past, let them go, or invite new people in. You always want to be inviting new people in, but for some of you, you have multiple people in your energy who want to go on this next cycle with you. But everyone can't go because some of them have been sent from God and some have been sent as agents of the devil. So again, the nine of wands is saying that you need to prepare yourself for the spiritual battle because you're at the tail end of it. So of course, now that you're so, so close to the finish line, you're tired, you're weak, you're worried, you're, you're weary at this point. And you're, you're going to have to make that final push because with the king of wands here and the nine of pentacles, you now are being prepared for a leadership role. Maybe you are starting a business or, you know, you are about to really level up in your finances. And sometimes in this particular case, you have to lose everything. You have to lose sometimes finances, friends and family. You have to lose everything so that there can be a clean slate because what's coming in now is the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So this is a brand new beginning when it comes to your finances and your love life. And they're very much going to be intertwined and tied in together. So the King and the Queen of Wands is out here. So this is for many people a power couple. I feel like the king and queen of wands out here and the nine of wands, this is saying there's two people. You guys are going to fight to protect one another, but it's something about you doing work to protect um, other people as well and to teach other people how to stand up for themselves, to have self-worth and value. You guys may be teaching other people things about their finances. Um, there could be public speaking involved. You, you just being out and people having their eyes on you. Okay, you may meet someone that's in the public eye, they're a public figure or something like that, and they may put you in a position with your business. Okay, this could turn into something romantic or just by you creating the space for yourself where you can be your true authentic self, you're going to have um, even romantic offers that are going to come in and assist you at this point. So you, you just have a lot of new things coming towards you with the chariot card here. But first and foremost, it's like here, the three of swords and the four of swords. You do have to move away from, like I said, anything that has left you feeling broken and wounded. And I know it gets tiring at times, like how much longer do you have? But you're just at the tail. I just saw 22, 22. You're at the end of this karmic cycle, the very end. So for some of you, please be encouraged because I know the attacks are a lot and these spirits are becoming very, very crafty and tricky with the things that they are doing. Okay, there's been so much shape shifter energy, but this is being exposed and look at this. You have the sun, the ace of swords with the release card here and the ace of wands. Oh my gosh, and the six of wands. So now we have four aces here with the sun here. 11 11 these are all ones one 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 okay you have the ace of pentacles the ace of cups the ace of swords the ace of wands this is fire passion magic action okay the ace of swords that's their clear line in the sand this is you making a decision this is having mental clarity ace of cups obviously that's emotional fulfillment 
And then the Ace of Pentacles, this is security, stability, it's new money, it's opportunities. With the Sun released and the Six of Wands here, this is saying all you have to do now is just say yes. And, and to say yes, that means obviously you're saying no. You're, you have to say no to something here in order to receive all of this abundance. This is definitely like a part two. Please make sure that you watched my last reading. Um... It's something about like two, 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 but I'm saying it's a karmic cycle of you releasing all attachments to people, places, things, but especially the entities that are attached to the people, places, things and situations that are in your life. By releasing this, these endings are leading to brand new beginnings. So everything that holds you back, you have to release it. So you, if you have any, any person in your life and they're dealing with confusion and, and they're fearful and they won't make certain choices in their life. You're needing to separate yourself from that type of energy because it's going to rub off on you. You're really going to have to be in that energy of like a, like a, a train. You cannot stop. You can't stop. You can't stop. You can't reverse. You just got to keep going. It's like tunnel vision. It's necessary here so that you can have this victory and success. You have to stay like laser focused on what your goals are right now because, again, you're at the end of a karmic cycle. So you're tired, and the when you get tired, this is when the enemy like amplifies all of their tactics. You're gonna have to keep 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 moving. You can't stop, right? The strength card, exactly. You gotta fight this, and you have to give it your your absolute best. This is all about you stepping into your own personal power. You're going to have to be very assertive. Anything else? Just real short. So it's like a part two. The five of swords. Yeah, don't beat yourself up about it, like focusing on the negative. Even if you feel like in the past you've made unwise choices by dealing with certain people, places, things, or situations. This is saying that everything happens for a reason, okay? Because a transformation card is here, and then here's the two of cups. It's like, had you not gone through those situations with the friends, the family members, or the lovers, you wouldn't have experienced this transformation. You had to go through the test trials, the tribulations, and the trauma, the tragedy, in order to make it to this transformation. And now... It's like you and someone else will eventually be able to come together, whether it's in business or romantic type of relationship, and you can share your testimonies. What what better is, is to have one testimony than to have two or more? So it's like a lot of you now, you will be meeting people who are part of your soul family, especially in the divine counterpart collective. Those of you who want union, you're going to be able to bring not your, your stress and your troubles, but your testimony to the table with someone else and you're going to be able to share it with the masses and that is look at this because i see two green cards the king and queen so like i said this is you guys coming together building something that's tangible building assets after getting rid of all of your liabilities okay the king and the queen of wands came out before. This is a power couple. This is, to me, king and queen of pentacles. I always say mom and dad. Okay? This is, you can have a family here. There's a connection that's going through a deep transformation. This could be two people who are transforming individually who will have an opportunity to come together and, and, and make their mark on the world because they're putting in the work now be mindful because you do that you have this king and queen of pentacles here just like the king and queen of wands there is a king of cups there there's a scorpio masculine that has been coming out in all the readings here this person may not be sun sign scorpio but they have scorpio heavily aspected in their chart i don't know exactly what may be in a person's birth chart but many people have like a hidden enemy this could be a friend, a family member, a lover, or all of the above. You have a hidden enemy that has been working very, very hard on trying to make sure that you're not able to do what you love, to make sure that you don't receive recognition, rewards, or anything for all of your hard work. Someone has worked extremely hard behind the scenes. And I feel for a lot of people, yeah, this is the four of pentacles. This is to ensure that you are out in the cold, that you are 
are unable to manage anything that you have somebody doesn't want to see you with any type of assets they want you to be overburdened constantly with various liabilities it's like this person wants you down on your knees now this could be um a manager a boss this could be a family member or friend like i said for some of you depending on how great your purpose is you could be attacked by everyone in your life at, at this point just being completely honest, but someone here does not want you to receive recognition for you doing what you love. They don't want you to have whatever your heart's deepest desire is. This person is is this obsessive energy, king of cups. This person studies you. They investigate everything in your life to figure out how to work against you. With the eight of pentacles, I feel like this is someone that's been doing this for some of you. It has been three to eight months or years that this person has been in the background of your life doing everything that they could to ensure that you have extreme like changes in your life your lifestyle especially when it comes to your finances this person has been in the background stealing your identity spirit energetically so that they can manifest off of your energy and it has kept you in poverty this is a king of cups this is a cancer pisces scorpio for some of you and I am picking up a mask and I, I feel like this is someone who is upset that someone has walked away and they have decided to pursue wish fulfillment. This has left this person in the ten of swords. This per someone feels upset and betrayed by you. And look at this, we have eight, nine, ten. But again, this was all meant to happen in divine order and divine timing. Something here is being balanced out for the high priestess. You had to go through this situation and and battle this demon and slay it in order to actually become the high priestess so now you get to go quickly beyond this setback and these illusions towards the emperor there you have it so there is a high priestess who had to go through a very very dark time dealing with um this could be mommy issues daddy issues you know really cutting clearing all of this negative energy in order for you to become the emperor yourself to balance your feminine and masculine energy and learn learn the importance of you using logic there are a lot of people who are a high priestess they're they're um that's oftentimes a lot of like piscean energy but high pre that's intuition being very feminine a very intuitive feminine you can start to do things that are distorted at times when you lack that masculine like energy, when you don't understand the importance of you using logic and being organized in addition to you being very intuitive. So a lot of you now are in a season where you have to learn how to pull your emotions back and be much more emotionally intelligent because if you're not, you can so easily be seduced by these agents of the devil that are being sent to throw you off course because your mind operates off of feelings instead of logic so like i said in the last video if you see a snake on the road your heart tells you pick the snake up you're learning now. your mind is starting to tell you no no you need to leave this snake out there because when you get home you patch it up and you feed it it's going to bite you because that is the nature of that snake you're you're being advised now to it's great to be intuitive, but do you know when to do the counterintuitive? Do you know how to shape shift energetically and not always give people what they come to you expecting? Everybody expects you to know everything and to let them get away with murder. No, you need to start persecuting people to the fullest extent of spiritual law now. And that's what most people, they're, they're not used to you doing that. But as soon as you start creating boundaries you can move past this stalemate energy you can stop being at a crossroads this is the knight of wands so some of you you have an emperor that's rushing in towards you but you first have to get past the the illusion that it, it's your job or your duty to play the martyr and take care of people who don't even want to take care of themselves it's not for you to Try to put every person on their spiritual journey. Once you lead them to the water, you can't make them drink. When you see that they will rather go thirsty than to go and drink, you need to move on to the next person. The next, the next season, the next task. 
a lot of this stalemate energy spirit is going to work very hard on on us all is seeing the error in our own ways you need to stop staying in situations too long if you know it's not working out move on don't be afraid to start over don't be afraid to have a clean new slate here because the eight of wands page of wands this is saying that as soon as you communicate to the divine that you are happy that you're optimistic and passionate about a new beginning you will be given the ten of cups But the nine of swords and the five of swords is here. For one, this nine of swords, five of swords is a person that's in your background, a person here who has gambled and made a lot of unwise choices with their life. They made choices about you because of their family. Somebody now that they, they're stuck in, in another cycle where they know that they're going to be at a loss and they're stuck with their anxiety. They, they have to pay the karma. For everything that they did to you in the last cycle and now they're moving into a new cycle and they're adding karma to it because they're now they're trying to bend your will to make you go on this cycle with them. The only reason why this demon wants you to go on to this new cycle with them is so that they can continue to have power so that they can continue to attack you so that they can continue to run out and attack other people. But they're using your shield of protection. You need to learn how to pull back so that you're using your shield of protection for yourself and for the generation that you're responsible for creating. For the healing work that God wants you to do for you, yourself, your community, or whom, for the people who actually want it. This is like a person, for a lot of you that's in your energy, they don't want to change. They don't want to be with you so that you can help them change. They only want to be attached to you so that they can use your love, your light, and your protection while they continue to do what they're doing so just be careful this i mean there's so much beautiful stuff here but you have someone here they they take your new beginning very personally the magician and this is exactly who it is this is the magician and this is someone who is very self-righteous okay this person could be a part of some type of religious cult clan secret organization or something this person's mindset is is very much stuck they're rigid like this person does not want to change they don't want to change and this person rushes in like the knight in shining armor at night in shining armor only to make you fall into this trap of an illusion so that they can bamboozle you once again this person is facing karma and they want you to show them some type of mercy while they are being judged this person knows they're hoping that when you look at the past of what they've done, that you will show them all of this compassion and forgiveness. Because now that you are choosing to persecute people who have gone against you, this person is begging now for your mercy. Because they already know that Judgment Day is here. They know that. So this person is trying to find every way that they can to sneak into your energy to figure out how can they convince you to give them more grace and mercy for how they have tried to sabotage your life for the last seven to 10 years, for some people longer. And this could be family, friends, lovers, all of the above. But these people now, they see that you're not just a high priestess or an empress, you're in this emperor energy or you have an emperor that's in your energy that is helping you to balance yourself out and be more logical. See, logic, that goes back to like Libra energy, the justice scales. If you did it and it's not fair, you have to pay for it. Because th this is now for your heart to be as light on the feather when it's on that balance, the, for, for the scale of balance, you now have to get rid of all of the wrongdoing that was done to you or you would have to see now when people have done so much wrong to other people you snitching now it's it's okay because i feel like now like spirit is like well who did it and you like they did it over there over there up there yeah down there on her last summer they did it and you should somebody they want to side that's what like my throat they want to silence you they don't want you to snitch on them but the thing is you don't have to say a word they got themselves caught because they were trespassing anyway all trespassers are caught you didn't have to say anything 
They got themselves caught. A lot of people are going through karma now and they're blaming light ones like, oh, well, you did it. No, you did this to yourself. What made you think that you were never going to get caught? But again, that's the ego of most of these people. So just be very careful. But Judgment Day is for sure here. And these people, for many of you, they are people from your past or from a, a past life or both. They're hoping that you will grant them all of this mercy now that their judgment is here. They can't get away from this. These are people who have probably been in a cycle with you more than once. So I feel like before you went through this awakening, they were able to latch on to your energy to get through their karma. Now that this cycle is ending, everything that they've done, they have to pay up. You got to pray what you weigh. And they want your energy. They, they, they want to wear your energy. They, they want to sign all of their karmic debts with your signature. They can't do that anymore. So now this, this is why there's so much retaliation. This is why everyone's so angry. This is why everyone is after you now because you're not allowing yourself or your gifts to help them. See, some of you in a past life, you could have been a high priestess, but in a past life, you could have used your gifts to protect those who were wicked. And maybe you knew that that's what you were doing, or maybe you didn't know. Maybe you felt like maybe you were forced to do that. This lifetime, you're standing up for yourself and you're saying no. You're fighting for what you believe in. So people who come to you, it doesn't matter if they're friends, family, or lovers. If they are doing things that are unfair and unjust, you now, you're persecuting them. They don't like that. Oh, well. Yeah, they, they have a serious problem with that. The fact that now you're you're standing up for for what's, what's right. You don't want to be a part of their team. You don't want to be a part of their group or the cult, the coven, the, the secrets, you don't want to be a part of it. And they're, they're upset. And depending on who you are, many people are threatened because the high priestess course came out. They're very threatened by what you know. They're like, well, if you're not a part of the group and you know all of our secrets, they're very afraid now that you're going to, to snitch. You don't have to snitch. They, they told on themselves. When the energy shifted and everything balanced out and they could no longer use your energetic signature, they wrote a bunch of checks that their asses can't cash. And, and, and it's time to collect. You didn't have to say anything. Reevaluation. Yeah, everyone is in a period now of reevaluating things. People are looking at their current circumstances and conditions. And it's time to see that it's time to make changes. Some people have been saved by the bell. Others have run out of time. Sold contracts. Yep. There you have it. Life force energy. Somebody wants to be in a sold contract with you so that they can use your life force energy. That's all this is. But you're being guided now with inner guidance here to share your gifts. You're about to go into a new soul contract where you will be exchanging and sharing your gifts with people who are a part, who have the same mission as you. See, these people, as long as they can keep you with a heavy heart, they can drain your life force energy. If they keep your, your heart chakra, throat chakra blocked, you don't speak out and they can make you constantly focus on when your heart was broken then they just move further down your chakras. They, they steal your solar plexus energy, your sacral chakra energy. So when it comes to being fertile and abundant and your willpower, your, you just all of your power, they're sucking all of that up for themselves. And the way that they do that is by, of course, constantly attacking your heart chakra. They can, as long as they can make you feel rejected and abandoned and, and, and stuck in trauma, then they fight their battles with your good energy. And they also are constantly coming into your dreams, trying to steal all of your energy. You have to remember that you're worthy. These people want you to think that you're not worthy. 
when the truth is, is that they've always known your worth and value. That's why they targeted you and picked you to steal from. I, of course, an enemy, no, no thief is going to rob an empty house. So if you've been leeching off of someone's energy for a decade, obviously it's because they are extremely powerful and spiritually wealthy. Your spiritual wealth has to be returned to you now. And it's all through your energy. For some of you, this is about money. These are court situations and other things. But now that you are renouncing the ties to these people, because either they're tied to things or they are people who are tied to other things. So that makes them guilty by association. You're now you're untouchable. You're you're in the safe zone. There's nothing they can do to you. You're protected. They want your protection. They can't have it. And whatever they stole, they have to give it back. Again, this is this is a lot of a lot of people are going through identity theft and fraud. Like seriously. But this is this has happened in the spirit as well. People have been stealing your spiritual identity, your spiritual like um signature, your energetic signature and your spiritual identity. They've been taking it for themselves now judgment day is here it, it, there has been a glitch in the system but actually the glitch is just everything has has returned to normal the jig is up <laughs> so, so let's say the, the jig is up so when you start to feel like oh my goodness you know everything is, is caving in you're not worthy that's probably a bunch of spell work, mind control, and manipulation that someone is projecting onto you. They are only ta attacking you like that so that, like I said, they can tap into your life force energy because they need it to shield them from the things that are coming. These people already know that their time is up and they're facing. Wow, look at this. There's a deck that I have over here. They're facing legal issues. A lot of bad, they've made a lot of bad deals. They have a lot of bad contracts. Both here in the 3D and in the 5D. They signed bad contracts with the devil as well. So these people are like, everyone is out to collect something from them. These are people who are going through, uh oh, sorry, cars almost fell. Um, bankruptcy, legal issues, child support issues, foreclosures you know, um, workplace lawsuits, like they're, they're going through everything. And of course, you know what that means. They're losing everything and they're looking now to once again, tap into your energy and use it. They, they, they trade your energy in for safety. Now that they can't do that, no money, no talk, distorted masculine. This for a lot of you, this is a distorted masculine. They only want to deal with you because they need your energy to manifest money. If they're not using your energy to manifest things that they want for themselves and perhaps even a, a whole family with someone else, they're not talking to you. So it should be easy to pinpoint who this person is in your life because they only come around when they need or they want something. There is no consistency with this energy. Look at that ex lover out there. You have it. This person doesn't want to talk to you unless money is involved. This is the one that's like they, they want to get to the money at all costs and they don't care. They don't care who they have to cross to get it. This is a distorted masculine here. Someone who abuses their power. They want to dominate you. They have a fear of appearing weak. So when this person's life begins to crumble, what it's doing to their ego, they're, t they're, they're terrified of it. They, they don't know what, what they're going to do when everyone sees that they're, they're down and out. When they get caught for all of this theft and fraud, they're, they're, they're terrified right now. That's why they're in your energy. This is a con man. Expectation. Okay. You can expect this to happen. Family room despair yeah in someone's home life this distorted masculine they're in despair 
because I feel like what this person has done for a very long time is this is someone who left you behind most likely and they only come into your life to keep you in this karmic cycle like I said so that they can um they can use whatever you whatever you work on very hard or whatever you've been working on see a lot of you have been working on this new beginning for a long time with occupation here this man they, their plan is to come in and steal your blessing from you it's that same stuff that's been coming out for the last year this person wants to destiny swap with you and this is what they've been doing this is a lot of forbidden magic that these witches wizards and warlocks have been participating in in these secret societies when they want to cover up their tracks they just go to the the chosen ones in their life that they have gone out and targeted to get you to pretty much of course fight their battles spiritually and energetically and to protect them and now that a lot of you have gone through your awakening and you have abundance coming now that they're losing their abundance they're coming in now to take yours from you they want to steal it from you i mean you know stealing your identity both in 3d and the 5d wasn't enough now that they're getting caught they still they they're just finding a, a new way to try to steal now but using your energy yeah someone here is concerned someone here is concerned now about their reputation because message of concern there is about to be a whole lot of talking in the community about this person here this distorted masculine who is in despair this person cannot get a job they can't start a business this person is their hands are tied you're going to receive a message of concern this person though has said that you did not have high honor or this person has been acting like they had high honor the only honor that they had was because they was using your energy or the energy of several other divine beings yeah so this person here is about to be in poverty and possibly in jail because i feel like official people want to know where well, where did you receive this unexpected income there's no record of how this person was receiving their income this person was receiving most of their income through spell work lies and i like identity theft and fraud this person probably has <laughs> All kinds of operations of how they're making money by being fraudulent and then if this person began to start tapping into spell work and shape-shifting to continue doing the things that they were doing I feel like a lot of you now you're moving towards new contracts this is a marriage card but marriage that's a contract it's a covenant it's it's a it's the holy covenant of marriage you guys you're going into contract for one with yourself but also with god some of you you do have a, a partner coming but this really isn't all just about love this is you going back into contract like i said going back home to god and getting yourself out of the contract of this distorted masculine here because by you being connected to this person and loving this person not knowing all of the things that they were involved in behind the scenes it kept you connected to it so you were being you were found guilty by association. Some of you got it came in to remove you from a situation right in the nick of time because had you been attached to this person in any way, when this person faces these legal issues or whatever else, it definitely could have affected you. God removed you right on time. The reading that I did yesterday or the day before, I talked about that. Where I said God and Archangel Michael they saved you from a sacrifice right at the nick of time. So now is a good, yeah, somebody here is in bad health. This whole community, this group of people, they're in bad health because there's a lot of changes coming to their home, their security. These people are being found out the jig is up. And at a distance here, distant horizon, you have courtship and lovers. For some of you, this is a lover that of yours that's at a distance. You dated this person or you're for some of you, you've been in a long distance relationship with someone. This person lives a double life. You don't know the things that they're doing when you're not around. You have no idea. But again, because of what they are associated with and attached to. 
it's bleeding over into your life. Some of you need to be mindful how people can be doing certain things behind the scenes, but they're making you the face of it. You're the light one. You're the face of the, the company or the operation. Because you're the, the, the sweet light one. You, you go undetected, but behind the scenes, you have no idea what they're doing. For their wealth, their success, their status or whatever, you don't know. This person, if, you're, if they're not talking to you about money, they don't, ha they don't have much to say. This is that person that comes in only during Mercury retrograde to make sure that they can keep the cycle open with you. Because they're just making sure that if, if ever they get in any type of trouble, that your energy is accessible. That's, that's it. This isn't about love. It's just like the reading that I just did. This is a demon that protects you. Not because they love you, but because they need your energy to be able to operate. That's the only thing. So this is a supreme narcissist. But this person has met their match with you. And they know that. Because like I said, it's time now for you to start persecuting people. You can't keep turning the chick, the, your, your cheek to this person. And you can't keep this devil, this demon on your prayer list. I feel like a lot of you, and, and I know it's very confusing, even in, especially in the tarot community. You know, I oh, will pray for this person. Some of you, you keep praying for a person. That's not your counterpart. Some of you, you think a person is like your twin flame or you're constantly praying for them. That person is an agent of the devil. You're constantly praying for that person's protection. And the whole time they're stealing your identity. And you have to know that the things that they're doing, it's far worse for other people that are involved. The only reason why they somewhat spare you is because they need your energy. That's it. This person doesn't have any feelings for anybody. And the only thing that they care about when it comes to loyalty is you being loyal to them. They don't have any loyalty to other people. None. Okay. So you see that there's a lot of amazing things happening, but you guys need to be very, very careful about this energy in the background. There's somebody or that, that is sending dark spirits, energy entities or whatever to you with like a real vengeance. But you're at the, it's only because you're at the tail end. Okay. You're at the tail end of whatever this is. I'm going to pull a few of these evil eye cards and then I'm going to be done. There's definitely something here, though, actually here in the 3D about identity theft and fraud. And somebody is going to be caught up for this. It doesn't matter how much they try to silence other people. It's like whatever they've done, it, nobody has snitched on them. They dropped the ball somewhere. This person is attacking people that they feel like could have possibly snitched on them, especially like divine beings, light ones. Nobody said anything. <laughs> your, your stuff just don't add up. People are they're so busy watching other people that they should have been watching themselves. You guys need it says keep a protection pouch on or with you do a spiritual cleansing. Yeah. I said it. Clean everything. If it says do an egg cleanse, the person hating on you has narcissistic behavior. We know that. This person is trying to cause um, infertility, intimacy issues, STD, common infections, UTI. This person does not want you to be, if this is an ex especially, they do not want you to be intimate with anyone else. And the reason why is because this person does not want you to procreate. They don't want you to co-create. This person does not want you to have your energy tied in with anyone else's because you are their energy bank. You are this person's energy bank. You are their charger. Okay. Like it's, it's the demon that protects you. You, Some of you, and I'm just going to say this, and it may ruffle some feathers. It's interesting how even some some readers and some of you are in this. If you want to abstain from sexual intercourse or, or be celibate, that's fine. But for some of you that are keeping yourself on hold for this so-called twin flame, some of you, that's the biggest, that, that is the entity in your life. 
and you think that you're saving yourself for somebody that's actually using all of your pure energy, whether you are involved with them or not, whether you're with them or at a distance, they're using all of your energy because you're their energy bank. You are their energy bank. <laughs> you are also the one that's shielding them from everything that they do when they write all of these checks using your signature. This person is good at what they do. This is a, a, a master manipulator. Misery loves company. It says they like others to be miserable too so that they can feel better about themselves. So this is a type of person here who will go around and I feel like they purposely like to um, select people in their lives who they feel like are less fortunate. They take advantage of the less fortunate Okay, maybe even when you met this person, you may not have had the things that you have now, especially in your material life. This person takes advantage of those people because typically people who are not money driven may be more spiritual or, you know, you know how some people, they just say, well, money is the root of all evil. That's not true. But this person will prey on the people who may be less fortunate so that they can take their money to do evil things with it. They also like for people who are beneath them, who come to them, who seem miserable because they can dictate and control them, seduce their minds, and they get all of the, their power from being praised by those people. So when this is the kind of person they like to see you do good, but not better than them. They want your energy to be well enough for them to attack it and, and use it for themselves. But they, again, they don't want you to see the truth about them and cut them off energetically. That's a problem for this person. Because without your energy, their whole operation collapses. Well, well. Look, it says when shit hits the fan, this person will be ghost. Yep. Causing you car problems, flat tires, engine shut down, broken mirrors, dead scratch. So this person, unexplained freak accident. This person is possibly trying to cause issues with the car. Okay, be very careful. This is the kind of person who does not want you to have any type of traveling grace or mercy. Because if they could get... This is the kind of person, if if you're not giving with them what they want, then what they want, they, they feel like then they can just discard you. A lot of you, this person, the only reason why they have not hurt you is because they could drain you energetically. Now that they can't get access to your energy, they have no problem at all with getting rid of you the way that they've probably gotten rid of several people, causing freak accidents. The power of three by three may the bad vibes stay away from me these you know mantras and such though it depends on your intentions this person could be using the power of three look it says here the person that is causing negativity is an earth sign so this could be a capricorn virgo taurus person and this person here is trying to blackmail you digging up dirt on you to to use later it says, beware of anyone from the past wanting to enter back into your life. And you could be receiving a lot of spam phone calls, random text messages. This person is probably trying to put something on your devices or your email or something like that, to perhaps to hack you, to track you or whatever, because they need to, yeah, they want to block your crown chakra. They need to know everything in your life to figure out what you're thinking, what, where you're going, what you're doing, what you're thinking, because they're trying to stay several steps ahead of you. This person is actually very afraid that you know something about them or you're going to expose them. I don't even think many people are even concerned with these individuals. They're just obsessed with you. And this person is always going against you, trying to argue their point. They're not considered at all of your point of view. And it says here to take a spiritual bath. So some of you need to take a spiritual bath and do an egg cleanse. Um, you know, just up your protection because this person, their goal is to block your third eye and your crown chakra, for sure. Because like I said, now, now that you're cutting off your energy to this devil, 
at the bottom of this other deck is the Empress. Now the Divine Feminine is cutting off her energy to this devil, this person here that broke your heart most likely. This person is very religious or they're a part of some type of secret group or society with the Hierophant here. Their ideas about spirituality, marriage, just their overall traditions, beliefs, and everything is very different. I also feel that a lot of people too, if this, this distorted masking for some of you, their thoughts, they believe in some type of hierarchy, I'm assuming, where they honestly do not see women as being equal at all. They, they, they have some type of warped way of thinking about how you should live your life. This person wants you to conform to the way that they want to live their life. With, and and this, this could be someone that you have like a different religious background your your beliefs are different i'm i'm telling you a lot of you you and this person you do not worship the same god <laughs> and they may be trying to convince you that you do but i'm telling you what this person does in the dark you don't know about it i'm also seeing someone here who travels a lot this person where they travel the things that they do the people that they talk to that you're not aware of this person has a whole double if not triple lifestyle the things that they do, you have no idea who this person has presented themselves to you to be is not who they are.